For the next 31 days on the FCPA Compliance Report, we're going to be bringing you a daily tip, strategy, or idea that you can use to improve your program. Here's your host, Tom Fox, the Compliance Evangelist. This month's sponsor of 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program is Affiliated Monitors. Founded in 2004, Affiliated Monitors provides professional, independent, integrity monitoring and ethics and compliance assessments nationally and internationally and across almost all industries. With its knowledge of effective ethics and compliance programs and cultures, Affiliated Monitors is respected for its work as the corporate monitor on matters ranging from multinational corporations to small and mid-sized companies and even individuals. Having served in over 750 monitorships, no one has more experience as an independent monitor than the team at Affiliated Monitors. For more information on how an independent monitor can help improve your company's ethics and compliance programs, visit this month's sponsor, Affiliated Monitors, at www.affiliatedmonitors.com. Financial Review of Your Business Venture Partner One area not usually considered around your business ventures is the financial health of a joint venture partner, teaming partner, strategic partner, or any other type of business partner or relationship which might occur in a business venture. It turns out that such an oversight might have some significant ramifications for an accurate picture of your business venture partner. The financial health of a business venture partner is not only a key metric, but also a key tool which allows a more robust assessment prior to a contract signing and in managing the relationship after the contract is signed. A business venture partner, which is in a weakened financial position, can come back to damage your business in a variety of ways. Obviously, a company which is under financial strain is more susceptible to cutting corners to obtain business. You can almost begin to see the fraud triangle forming at this point and a rationalization for committing a FCPA violation or bribery and corruption going forward, forming in the mind of a business venture partner. But it's more than simply being open to potential illegal conduct, such as violating the FCPA, to get business on an ongoing basis. One of the most hottest topics, of course, is cybersecurity, and will continue to be so for the foreseeable future. A company that at the beginning of the working relationship may be on onboarding, may be onboarding or at the due diligence procurement event, <clears throat> at that time you may do a series of checks from a compliance and info security perspective, and the company may look, fa- may look good. It gets green lit and comes on board as a vis- business venture partner. However, over time, if that business venture partner is weakening its financial condition, is weakening in its financial condition, the chances are likely that <clears throat> it is going to begin underinvesting and maintaining the quality of the cybersecurity program. Over time, a business venture partner of your company may induce increased risk for a cybersecurity breach because that business venture partner is not weakening and is not managing the financial condition of itself on an ongoing basis. This might lead to a catastrophic failure, as we saw with Equifax, where the company missed a leading indicator that cyber, there was a cybersecurity problem, failed to implement a software update or patch, and then, of course, it was too late. It has this, this has the impact to affect revenue, affect reputation, and indeed, negatively affect your ability to do business together moving forward. A database of financial health is important because traditional risk management has focused more on protecting the downstream risk and detecting downstream risk that is able to understand on a spectrum of risk. So it can be from poor to really good. And that means the user must be an in an ability to align with the strongest partners, which creates resiliency and a strong business business venture partner ecosystem. And I'd like you to think about that term for a minute, the business venture partner ecosystem, because all of the risks that we have detailed in this podcast series, uh, risk of doing business, risk of doing business with foreign officials or state-owned enterprises, uh, risks in the joint venture space, They're all part of the business venture ecosystem. And financial health of your 
business venture partner is one component of this. In considering, considering the financial health in this broader manner for the business venture ecosystem allows a much more robust assessment of your business venture partner's strengths and weaknesses. The financial health of a business venture partner may tell you how well that partner will perform going forward. Obviously, such information can be useful to you in your business planning, particularly around strategic risk. Understanding the financial viability of business venture partners, whether they be traditional vendors, uh, joint venture partners, strategic alliance partners, M&A candidates, teaming partners, can all help you meet your compliance requirements, maintain operational stability, and through the avoidance of business disruption and support business continuity initiatives thereafter. Even better, you can cut through silos to develop risk management strategies across multiple business functions through the use of business venture partners. This moves compliance into the business process cycle and creates greater efficiencies and, frankly, at the end of the day, more profitability. This approach allows the, allows the compliance function to demonstrate solid return on investment going forward. It also allows compliance to cut through the many corporate silos, including such disciplines as business development, supply chain, procurement, manufacturing, and finance. Continuous improvement through the monitoring of ongoing financial health is a tool where technological solutions can have a very strong impact. Under not, un, un, Understanding the financial viability of business venture partners can help the compliance practitioner meet the DOJ's requirement to more fully operationalize a compliance program. It can also lead to more and better operational stability and that ever-sought increase in corporate profitability. As your compliance moves, your compliance function moves into the business process, this is the type of review which should become a part of your compliance toolkit going forward. So what are today's three key takeaways? Well, number one, so what is the financial health of your business venture partners? Is this something you have even looked at? If you haven't looked at it, I would suggest you do so. Second, poor financial results can open a business venture partner to engaging in risky behavior. Obviously, uh, people who are desperate will come closer to stepping over the line of bribery and corruption. But if you think about it, just in the normal business operations, you begin to cut back. You begin to be less robust in your information and cybersecurity. So financial health is a key indicia of the overall strength of your business partner. And finally, number three, financial health monitoring is a key tool in maintaining ongoing monitoring of business venture partners. And it's really this ongoing basis that I think will be critical for you as the compliance practitioner. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I'd like to thank you again for joining me for this episode of 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program around business ventures. And I hope you will join me for our next episode tomorrow. Also, I'd like to shout out to our sponsor, Affiliated Monitors, for sponsoring this month's podcast series. This podcast series on 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network.